hello friends welcome to brain amplifier and in this video we'll discuss about the four wire measurement sometimes it is also called contact resistance measurement and this method is used for the measurement of resistance so in this video we'll discuss it and we'll try to understand why we use it how we use it when we use it and how it is different from the normal resistance measurement now suppose normally how we measure the resistance suppose i have to measure the resistance of r subject so i'll connect this r subject to my ohm meter or my multimeter with these wires this r wire is the resistance of this wire this r wire is the resistance of this wire this r subject is the resistance to be measured so if i put my ohm meter to this r subject my ohm meter will show me the resistance of r wire plus r subject plus r wire so far so good this is fine until unless we have we have some good enough r subject that is it is in some kilo ohms and very less r wire that is the resistance of the wire is in few ohms now suppose i have to take the measurement from some distance suppose 40 meter 50 meter distance in that case my r wire becomes significant suppose this length of this wire is too much very high in that case r equals to rho l upon a then if my length is high my resistance will be higher so now this r wire this r wire is like a impurity in the measurement of this r subject that is this r wire is a error for the measurement of this r subject now if uh, these the r subject is very high r wire is very less this error can be neglected but if my length of the wire is very high this r wire becomes significant in that case the error introduced by r wire for the measurement of r subject becomes significant so the measurement technique becomes erroneous now there may be another case also suppose my r subject is very less suppose my r subject is in the range of micro milli ohm or some few ohms in that case also this r wire and r subject becomes comparable so in that ca case also the percentage of error introduced by r wire for the measurement of r subject becomes significant okay now if uh, with this technique my error is very significant that there is problem in the measurement with this technique so to remove remove the error introduced by this wire resistance we used four wire method now how this four wire method work we have separate circuits for the current measurement as well as for the voltage measurement now we have to measure the r subject so r subject will be equal to as per the ohm's law as mr ohm has said the voltage drop across this r subject divided by the current going through this r subject so if we talk about the current we have put a battery for the current now the current passing through this complete circuit will be same that is the current passing through this emitter will be same to the current passing through this r wire to the current passing through this r subject so the current passing through this r subject will be measured by the emitter so the emitter indication will be equal to the current passing through this r subject okay good we have found one component now i have put my voltmeter across this r subject only so the voltage drop across r subject will be equal to my voltmeter indication now i have the voltmeter indication i have the emitter indication my voltmeter indication is equal to voltage drop across r subject my emitter indication is the current passing through this r subject if i take the ratio then the r subject that is voltmeter indication divided by the emitter indication will give me the r subject value accurately the thing is accurately now i have removed the error introduced by these r wire because i am not measuring the voltage drop across these r wire so the in the measured resistance the component of r wire is removed okay, so now you will say that you talked about the distance i have to take my measurement from 50 meter i have to put my emitter at 50 meter then i have to put my voltmeter also at 50 meter 
then the wire length for the voltage measurement will also be 50 meter and that will should introduce a significant resistance also yes you may say this but that's not true because my voltmeter measures re measures resistance with very high impedance so the current passing through this voltage circuit is insignificant almost nil current if there does not pass any current in this circuit my r wire will not be any problem for me so my voltage voltmeter will measure only r subject okay and my emitter shows me the reading of the current now if i have to measure a very less resistance suppose in milli ohm or micro ohm then the current i have to give is very high because for is the resistance is very less so the current i have to pass is very high so the current leads are thicker and the voltage leads are thinner so this is how i measure the resistance of a very low value by accuracy i can also increase the quality of movement by having a very low full scale current suppose the scale of that emitter is very low the full scale is very low suppose it is in the range of one ohm half ohm then i can measure the value of current very accurately this method is also called the kelvin measurement method now there are some pros and the, some cons also by of this method so what are the benefits of this method it eliminates interfa interfacing cable resistance so I have that we have seen how it, this method is removing the cable resistance it improve accuracy by removing those resistance and it can measure very low resistance values also but there are some negative points in the two wire method you have to just put the uh, meter sorry put that uh, multimeter leads to the resistance it tells you the value but here you have twice the number of test points so if there are twice the number of test points, you have to put four clamps across that resistance so it takes more time so the testing speed is slower and there are complexities in now there may be two types of connections follow each of my words with concentration suppose this is the resistance to be measured one and two between one and two this is my r subject this is to be measured now this part between 3 and 1 and 2 and 4 is some connecting part some lug or some something extra part of that resistance now if i put my voltage at 1 and 2 and emitter at 3 and 4 that is i have my voltage inside the emitter my voltage will show me the voltage drop across r subject and emitter will show me the current passing through this r subject as the current will be same throughout this circuit so the current passing through here will be same here 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 everywhere so here the r subject will be voltmeter indication divided by a meter indication so here my r subject will be accurately measured now suppose if i put my ammeter at point one and two and i put my voltmeter at point three and four in that case my ammeter will show me the current passing through this one and two okay that's fine that we were doing here also but this time my voltmeter will show me the resistance the voltage drop across this three and one also and this two and four also now in the case when there are resistances in the value of milli ohm and micro ohm this may introduce some error also the voltage drop across 2 and 4 and 3 and 1 may be significant in the comparison with the 1 and 2 so it may introduce some error so this connection is more accurate compared to this connection that is my emitter should be outside my current lead should be outside and my voltage lead should be inside not my current lead should be inside the voltage lead, lead it is outside okay i think you understood this now what are the applications of this four wire measurement in the circuit breaker contact resistance measurement we use this method as those contact resistance have resistance in the range of few microns then strain gauge strain gauge wiring then in the resistance thermometers 
and also in earth resistance measurement we use this technique hope you got a good sense of understanding of this four wire measurement we generally use it when our resistance is less than 100 ohms and in this we have a separate current and voltage leads the current leads are called force connection voltage leads are called sense connections i hope you got my idea thank you so much like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts put in comment